Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. I'm going to start things off with a quote. Any significantly advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. That was from Arthur C. Clarke, a sci-fi author, and it really applies to what I'm going to be showing you today. Today, I am going to be showing you Art Breeder, and this uses machine learning, GAN, all that stuff, uh, GAN being uh, generative adversarial networks. It's a way of machine learning, teaching computers how to do stuff, and it's very popular in the open source world. And what we're looking at today is a tool that was created on that concept and this is art reader and what it allows you to do is basically take source images other images cross breed them together create new and derived work and i think the easiest way to show you is to show it in action quite simply Portraits work the best. That has been my experience here as well. Uh, here you can see a base image that we are starting from. Here you can see some of the works that people have created from it. And they're all really good looking. So if you actually wanted to create character portraits, this could be a good choice for you. And there is a commercial plan out there. So this is actually a tool you could go ahead and use, or you can use this as like a base for making your own concept art, that kind of thing. So you see here, we've got a number of genes, genetics that go together to create this image. So for example, if we wanted to make her a little bit older, well, let's see a little bit of magic in action here. So there it goes, it runs and she got slightly older, not, oh, actually, I think she may have got slightly younger. I think I went the wrong way. So we're gonna age her a fair bit more this time. And yeah, she's older. Now let's make her quite a bit older. Now this is machine learning. It can go completely stupid. It doesn't realistically, know. so now we're in lich territory. Uh, but you get an idea of the kind of stuff you could do now that, now that she's that old. She's probably a little angry. So let's throw a little angry in there. And you know, that's, that's sterner looking. So it's not just a straight out character poser. It's not saying, Okay, I'm gonna, you know, make, and here we're getting into the, the realm of kind of uselessness, uh, but you get the idea of what's going on here. At the same time, you can take uh, children derived down from, you can crossbreed with another image that you've either someone else uploaded. So let's crossbreed those two together and let's, let's bring her over a bit. So there is the crossbreed of that picture and that picture. There is the result we got. And we're gonna slide it a little bit more towards that style. And we're going to get a bit more of that character. So you can see how if you have your own art style, you could upload something as a source image and mix in with something else. You could also actually take a portrait in like more of an anime character style and mix and blend those two things together. And let's go back over to this side instead, a little bit less her, a little bit more her. And there you see. So you're getting some influences from this one on this model, making it look a little bit more human-like. And you see how you can use this crossbreeding to create some... Uh, like art styles along the line that you really like. Now, a lot of these dialogues, you got no idea what they're actually for. What's chaos? I have no idea. Uh, what is style doing? I have no idea. You get a lot of those. Some of them are very intuitive. Age? Yeah, I get it. So I think this one is more of a, like a randomized for the style output. But as you see, we're getting some really, really awesome results out of this. And you can... I don't know. There's just so much potential with a tool like this. But again, the one that really strikes me as being the most glaringly obvious in the world of game development is for character portraits. But there's more to this. And I got to say, it's definitely at its best doing portraits. But you can also come in and you can do uh, landscape. We saw something like this where uh, you could draw landscapes. I, I did a video on that in the past. But we can go ahead. So we'll start. Okay, we'll start with that one and create some results of it. And you could use this, I guess, for... Um, add some more valley. You could use this for uh, concept art, billboarding, scene design, rapid iteration, so on. Uh, let's make that a little bit more of a mess. And there, we got more of a mess. I think we need some C in there. So you could just kind of keep going. I think I can actually just blink and like do it again and get a different result, different result, different result. So you start from a source image, you start mixing in these various different genes, and then you just kind of keep iterating until you get something you like. So that is more of a landscape side of things. Uh, you've also got the ability to do uh, animations. Um, I don't actually know how the animation works specifically, so select. Um, Okay, I'm gonna get out of here because I don't really know how the animated side of things works here. Uh, so we will uh, skip at, ooh, a dog. Ooh, there is a, a pig crossed with an owl. I don't know. I'm gonna get out of here. So let's go on back. If you wanna create your own things, by the way, you can create in portraits and landscape. So if we go back to portraits, you're actually gonna see the option. You can go ahead and upload an image. The free version gives you three that you can upload and work with. Uh, and then if you wanna use your own uh, source images, you've got to, um, 
uh, add them yourself or like or um, uh, if you go past the three limit you've got to subscribe we'll look at what the subscriptions are in a second by the way also has anime style support so we can start with a character like this and then again we have a number of different sliders now it's not just a generator so I can't just say okay well make the mouth bigger what you're saying is I want more of a bigger mouth using this so I'm adding that genetic trait so now we've got kind of an open look at, and then we can have it kind of look at a different perspective. So look at viewer, again, I, these numbers are very, very arbitrary, but you can see the end result. So if you need to generate yourself anime style characters, you can do so. Now, if you wanna make a smiling anime style character, you can do so. Here we go, smiling. All right, we want black hair instead. Go ahead, spit that out. So this is a computer generating art. Now, again, sometimes the art looks a little, uh, yeah, uh, and then sometimes it looks like almost indecipherable from something that a human would create. Yeah, like, again, yeah. Uh, so I do find 100% portraits work the best, landscapes probably work the second best. You'll notice also here there's characters. You'll probably also notice there's furries, and I'm not touching that one. But characters is a way of basically creating uh, characters, uh, full body characters. And this is probably one of the weakest areas. So it starts with composition. Uh, so you select, again, select your source. Um, here, we'll do a random. All right, so we'll start with a character. We'll start with her. All right, so there we go. And we'll generate a character based off of that particular template right there. So there is our starting point. Now, let's say I want her to be more armored. We can go there, regenerate, and now, whoo, okay, not a good work. Now, sometimes it's going to create crap. It's just the way things work. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and say we like that one. We're going to switch over to this one right here. And there we go. Okay, so we need that to be a bit more female. So go ahead, generate again. And boom, there we go. Armored generated female warrior woman. Boom, concept art, done. So if you're just looking even just for an idea to base a character around, you can just play around in here for a little while and here, let's make an armored ninja and see how that turns out. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I can see it. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. There's there's armor and there's ninja in there. So let's drop that down a bit and just make a straight out ninja and see what kind of results we get as well. Okay, that was bad. Let's see if it gets any better. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, okay. So this is also an area that is major fail at times too. So uh, do be aware of that fact. Um, it, it's not always the greatest results that you get out. Uh, but quite simply, again, start with the source character set a number of parameters for it or reset them and then select and it'll generate you uh, something new almost instantaneously. It is it's it is magical. Now again, this is not human caliber work. Uh, the portrait stuff in my opinion actually is. And you can see some of the things that people have created and they're, uh, they're impressive works, especially if you were making portraits or like art artified, I'm gonna use that as a word, artified versions of real people, uh, you can get some pretty amazing results here. Let's see what happens when we take that as the source of inspiration, but let's say make something a little bit ha- Ooh, that is, okay, really honestly, the, uh, the portrait side of Art Breeder blows me away. The animation stuff is mostly fluff. The character design stuff, it can work out, it can create absolute crap, uh, but this is just, I don't know. It's it's magic. It, it's magic to me. This is pretty impressive stuff. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more, again, this was built on GAN. GAN is genera Generative Adversarial Networks. Um, main technology behind ArtReader uses big GAN and style GAN models. Uh, there is a minimal open source version available uh, that uses big GAN. So if you want to check out some source code, GAN Breeder, uh, this is a subset of what you're seeing here that is open source. Uh, that was under the GPL v3 license. I will link that in the linked article down below. Um, you can see where it came from. It originally was actually built off a project uh, named Pick Breeder, and earlier on he worked as uh, Facebook Graffiti was the starting point. Now, I told you earlier on, this is a commercialized uh, project, so if you want to get into the pricing, the pricing is all really quite fair. So uh, again, if you wanted to use this to generate a number of portraits for a game or something, I think this is quite, quite decent. So nine bucks a month gets you uh, 80 image uploads, uh, 200 high-res downloads, and 300 frames of animation. Uh, whereas um, I think you get four, I don't know how many free downloads you get. I, I remember from before, but I completely forget now. Uh, Advanced Breeder here, you get 300 uploads, 800 highlights downloads, and 1,000 frames of animation, or you can go into the unlimited category, uh, sync it out to Google Drive. Uh, you can create your own custom genes. Those are the sliders that we were using to influence things. It's, 
it's pretty awesome. So your regular, what you're getting here is 512K images, and then you can get um, 248 there. By the way, if you do create something you like, uh, you can get it and you download right there. So that is Art Reader. Uh, I, somewhat, it, it's sort of like a proof of concept sort of thing, but it's also, I think, immediately useful. Again, I keep going back to portrait art, definitely useful there. Um, you could take your own artwork and kind of do a spin on it. Also for quickly coming up with concepts or landscapes or character designs, this could be a, a nice way to work. Basically just kind of like, nah, nah, I'm feeling a little bit more, I don't know, blue eyes in there. And then you kind of, it just kind of keep changing it until you get a character that you're happy with. Let's let's do something horrific here and add some facial hair. I, sometimes again, it just oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Uh, so that yeah, uh, I'll leave it there. I think that is where we will end with Art Reader with this uh, lovely uh, creation. We'll call it a creation. Yeah, that's it. So that is Art Reader, a GAN based machine learning based AI art creation tool. I'd be curious to hear what you think of it. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.